BPM, the most used term in DJing, why it is so important and what does it actually mean? If you guys are looking for answers of these questions, this is the video for you. But before that, hello people, what's up? This is Abhijat, your DJ instructor for the day. If you guys are into music production and DJing, do subscribe to my channel and it's free. So let's get down to business. So if I break BPM, that is beats per minute, it simply means how many beats are there in one minute. For example, if there is a 120 BPM song, that means that song has like 120 beats like in a minute. Pretty simple, right? Now the question comes why BPM is so important. So in DJing, you have to transition from one song to another song. So it is very important to have those two songs in same BPM. For example, if there is a song that is like 120 BPM, it'll go like And if there is a song that is 150 BPM, that will go like. So as you can see, the second song appears more faster as it has higher BPM. So that's why BPM is also known as speed of the song. There is a detailed explanation to this that I'll explain it in the later part of this video. But for the time being, let's just mix these two songs. So here the first song is 128 BPM and the second song is 150 BPM. So let's just start them together and let's see whether these two songs can mix or not. That was a train wreck. As you can see, beats of 128 BPM song is not aligned with beats of 150 BPM song. So if we change the tempo of the 150 BPM song and bring it to 128 BPM, both the beats bars are now aligned. And if we try to mix it now, they would sound much better. So let's hear it. So still need to do some basic EQ to this, but definitely we can now mix these two songs and transition from song A to song B. So one pro tip that will, you know, actually help you while you DJ is like higher the BPM, lesser will be the gap between two beats. Let me get a sheet of paper and explain you the stuff. So these two lines represent one minute. So the upper line shows the beat structure of the song whose BPM is four and the lower line represents the beat structure of the song whose BPM is five. Suppose I number the beats, it'll go like first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat, and again the first beat. And that is four BPM. Now the second line that is first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat, fifth beat, and now again the first beat. That is five BPM song. So suppose if this song was 120 BPM, there will be 120 beats like this. Uh, to make it simple, I am taking it like 4 BPM and 5 BPM so that you can easily understand here. So as you can see, the distance between these two beats are comparatively less than the distance between these two beats. That is because the measure time is one minute and in one minute, more beats have to fit in. That's why, you know, the lesser BPM song has more distance compared to the higher BPM song. You can apply this here. As you can see, the beats in 150 BPM song are comparatively more closer than the beats in the 128 BPM song. You can compare and check it. So that is what I said. Higher the BPM, lesser will be the gap between the beats. This thing is very important as this thing will help you while you DJ or mix or when you beat match by ear. So learn it and try to visualize it. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely help you. Another thing about BPM is that different genres of music can be identified by the BPM. For example, if you go for Big Room Electro House, that is around like 128 to 130. If you go for trap, dubstep, that is 150, 160 BPM. If you go for hard style or side trance, that is like 185 or 200 BPM. So like that different 
you know, genres have different BPM range. Here is the chart on the screen. You can pause and read it. That's it for the day. I'll see you in the next video. And in the next video, I'll explain something pretty interesting. That is what happens inside a DJ's mind while he mixes. So do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. Do click on the video that is appearing on the screen to know more tips and tricks like this.